our Heavenly Father and God, we present unto you the godly and well-learned man to be ordained and consecrated bishop. May the mandate be read. The mandate for consecration. At the semi-annual convention of the Orthodox Anglican Church in America, held at Christ Anglican Church in Lexington, North Carolina, on June 9th, in the year of our Lord, 2012, the Reverend Canon T. Creighton Jones was duly elected as the presiding bishop of that body. The evidence of ordination. The Reverend Deacon T. Creighton Jones was ordained as a deacon in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church at Christ Anglican Cathedral on November 10, 2002, by the Most Reverend Scott E. McLaughlin. The Reverend Father T. Creighton Jones was ordained as priest in the One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church at Christ Anglican Cathedral on June 15, 2003, by the Most Reverend Scott E. McLaughlin. Brethren, it is written in the Gospel of St. Luke that our Savior Christ continued the whole night in prayer before he chose and sent forth his twelve apostles. It is written also, the early apostles prayed before they ordained Matthias to be of the number of the twelve. Let us Therefore, follow the example of our Savior Christ and his apostles. Offer up our prayers to Almighty God before we admit and send forth this person presented unto us. To the work whereunto we trust the Holy Ghost hath called him. In the name of God, Amen. I, T. Creighton Jones, chosen bishop of the Orthodox Anglican Church, do promise conformity and obedience to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Orthodox Anglican Church in the United States of America and throughout the world. So help me God, through Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We shall all kneel as we do the litany. that they may go forward with courage 
and persevere unto the end. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to increase the number of the ministers of thy church, that the gospel may be preached to all people. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to hasten the fulfillment of thy purpose, that thy church may be one. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to grant that we, with all thy saints, may be partakers of thy everlasting kingdom. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. much as the Holy Scripture and the ancient canons command, that we shall not be hasty in laying on hand and admitting any person to government in the Church of Christ, which he had purchased with no less price than the efficiencies of his own blood. Before we admit you to this administration, we will examine you in certain arrows to the end that the congregation present may have a trial and bear witness how you are minded to behave yourself in the church of God. Are you persuaded that you are truly called to this ministration according to the will of our Lord Jesus Christ and the order of this church? I am so persuaded. Are you persuaded that the Holy Scriptures contain all doctrine required as necessary for eternal salvation through faith in Jesus Christ? 
are you determined out of the same holy scriptures to instruct the people committed to your charge to teach or maintain nothing as necessary to eternal salvation but that which you shall be persuaded may be concluded and proved by the same I am so persuaded and determined by God's grace will you then faithfully exercise yourself in the holy scriptures and call upon God by prayer for the true understanding of the same so that you may be made able to them to teach and exalt with holiness wholesome doctrine and to withstand and convince the gainsayers I will so do by the help of God. Are you ready with all faithful diligence to banish and drive away from the church all Uranus and strange doctrine contrary to God's word and both privately and openly to call upon and encourage others to the same? I am ready, the Lord being my help. Will you deny all ungodliness and worldly lust, and live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, that you may show yourself in all things an example of good works unto others, that the adversary may be ashamed, have nothing to say against you. I will so do, the Lord being my helper. Will you maintain and set forward as much as shall lie in you quietness, love, and peace among all men, and such as be unquiet, disobedient, and criminals within your diocese, correct and punish according to such authority as you have by God's word, and as to you shall be committed by the ordinance of this realm. I will so do by the help of God. Will you be faithful in ordaining, sending, or laying hands upon others? I will so be by the help of God. Will you show yourself gentle, be merciful for Christ's sake to the poor and needy people, and to all strangers destitute of help? I will so show myself by God's help. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty God, my heavenly Father, who have given you a good will to do all these things, and also unto you strength and power to perform the same, that he accomplishing in you the good work which he had begun, you may be found perfect and irreprehensible at the latter day, through Christ Jesus Christ, our Lord.